So when you're in the church and you walk around, you'll notice different colors of mortar that are um, on the walls. Some of the mortars are more modern than others. For example, this orange colored mortar that you see is um, from the 1950s. It has this color because it came from the Pecos area. The sand there in the Pecos area is very red. So when they did the repointing, they chose the Pecos color with some um, aggregate. The problem with this particular mortar is one, it's the wrong color, because San Antonio's sand is not red. And two, they mix cement in here. And when cement is mixed with the mortar and applied to the limestone, the wall doesn't breathe the same way that it did originally when this was built as a mission. So, the second type of mortar that you'll see as you walk around and study the walls is this gray colored mortar. And if you look at this gray colored mortar, it's original mortar from the Spanish colonial era. You can see the really fine river sand. You've got aggregate that has been um, rubbled from the water, so it's rounded and very pretty. And even every once in a while, um, you can look and you'll see bits of fiber that are mixed in with the Spanish colonial mortar. And this mortar is pretty stable in some areas. But then there's other areas where it's, it's starting to deteriorate, which you can see right here. And the deterioration is caused from this mortar is one of the reasons. It's also many other reasons which we are doing research on to determine what is the best approach to preserve these walls and slow down the deterioration of the historic mortar.